Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with the miserable liberal and Ron Placone. I'm miserable. Howdy, howdy. Yay. So what's happening in America is that uh, uh, we've had the capture of our government by capitalism. So corporate corporations have taken over, and which is why we can't uh, stop selling assault re- weapons to mentally <laughs> ill people and uh, to 18 and 19 year old kids and uh, why we have school shootings and that other countries don't have. So um, now, but we've come up with a solution. We're going to ban guns like Australia? No, that's not going to happen. What we're going to do is now we're going to sell your kid a bulletproof blanket. Specifically made for your kid during a school shooting. Could you imagine sending your kid to school? Here's your lunch. Here's your thermos. Here's your mittens. Here's your bullet blanket. (laughs) <laughs> Don't forget your bull. What? What's this for? In case you get shot at school, kid. <laughs> what? I wouldn't go to school if I was a kid. If I had to have a a, a bullet blanket, what the f? What you want to see it? There they are. There's the bullet blanket. Kids are underneath those blankets. By the way, you have to see kids. Yeah, there's a kid. Kids are all, kids are all underneath them. Uh, the bodyguard blanket made by a company called Protec is a bullet. Proof 5 16th inch pad made from the same materials used by our military, except it's for kids. <laughs> wow. They even come, oh, you can, it's mobile too. Th- those kids look thrilled. <laughs> how is that moment not traumatizing for That's, those kids? How is too? that not traumatizing for kids? <laughs> what am I putting this on for? Oh, honey, it's your bullet blanket. So My when, what? So when a crazy man comes in here to kill you, what? He's gonna what? Huh? I'm trying to I'm trying to do crafts. <laughs> <laughs> look at their faces. They do look par- they look Yeah, they look terrified. They look terrified. This is us looking out for our young people. Huh? We can't actually protect our kids, but we can make some money off of them being scared shitless. <laughs> That's exactly. what this is. That's, That's what, exactly what We're what not going to protect them, but hey, I see a money-making opportunity. You know, I remember in high school, like when you were an undergraduate, you got like the bottom locker, so you didn't have a lot of space. Right. So I would really try to avoid bringing my winter jacket until I absolutely needed it. So uh-huh. it's like, like when would you try to avoid like bringing this thing? Like, ah, oh, it's pizza day. There's not going to be any shootings. I'm leaving the bullet blanket today. I'm taking the chance. It's not going to fit in the locker. Go ahead, put your bullet blanket in the locker, kids. Yeah, it doesn't look. Uh, this is how business, the Business Insider, this is what they say. I don't know if you can read that. I'll read it to you. It says, when our energy and creativity is being channeled in a way to create bulletproof nap mats for the tiny children in their elementary school classrooms because it's a product every child could use, it's a sign that we've given up. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey, shootings are out of control. We got to do something about guns. Ah, no, 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 no. Time to think out of the box. Let's make a little money on this situation, <laughs> huh? We sell bulletproof nap blankets. <laughs> you just picture somebody in a marketing meeting like, what gives you comfort? Blankets, right? Well, yes. hear me out. Let me tell you something. <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> If somebody was uh, would, was going into Wall Street and shooting it up every other week, they would ban guns. Yeah. If every other week someone snapped inside of uh, Goldman Sachs or J, uh, uh, Diamond Chase, J.P. Morgan Chase, or inside of Bank of America or anywhere, well, believe me, the second time it had happened, they'd be like, we got to do something now. You killed a bunch of kids. That's okay. It's not my kids. Mm-hmm. Movie theater. Eh. Yeah, I mean, unless unless those Wall Street guys own stocks and guns, and Smith and Wesson, then maybe they wouldn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there it is. There's that's uh, that's late stage capitalism looking at you right in the face. That's hey cap. Well, the reason why we have a gun problem is because of ca- the co- capitalistic capture of our government. So what's the solution to that? To the gun violence because we have gun violence because oh we'll have more capitalism. I don't even know what to say. That's unbelievable, right? I don't even know what to say about that. So, um, wow. It's a bummer this isn't an Onion article. That's about it. This is not an Onion article. (laughs) 
Yeah. You know, it's like I go back. I get people, you know, I, I have to goof or else you cry. Honest to God, it's yeah. crazy. It's just our society is just crumbling all around us and no one seems to give a shit. 63% of Americans can't afford a thousand dollar emergency. We're giving kids bulletproof blankets because we can't protect them. Let's just hope all those kids are at least getting paid as like actors and actresses right yeah. now. Like, right like now? yeah, you're gonna be in the bulletproof blanket commercial. Oh, that's gross. But <laughs> wow, that's where we're at. We're at. We're sending kids to school and bullet. With, why don't we just give little bulletproof vests? Oh, because it wouldn't cover their head. That's unbelievable. Folks, uh, I hate to say it, but please make sure you're subscribed. And if you can come see our live show uh, this Saturday, the 24th in San Diego, or March 30th in Burbank, California, and there's going to be some more, we might add a second show on the 26th in Austin, Texas. We may. I'm not, I'm not planning. We're trying. We're in, we're talking with the people in Austin and see if we can add a second show, because we sold out that first show. So uh, it's, I didn't know how popular we were in Austin. We're very popular. We're sold out a month and a half ahead of time at the Stateside Theater. So I uh, wish I would have known. I would have, I don't know. Well, now we know. Now we know how popular we are. So we'll see. Thanks for your support.